My name is Kefa Mad. I'm the executive director for We Nourish. My husband and I started a restaurant called Capital Cafe back in 2015 to offer healthy and nutritional meal options to the community and also to offer a place where the community can connect and engage. There are high numbers of East Africans in South Minneapolis who are food insecure. In We Nourish, what we want to address is that we want to give people access to meals that give them nutrition, that enable people to have food securities while in the pandemic. In May 2020, we launched We Nourish to expand the Capital Cafe home delivered meals to address some of the food insecurities um, in this community and also to be able to offer healthy halal meal options to the immigrant and Muslim community here. Our vision at We Nourish is to reduce hunger and address health disparities in the community. We started We Nourish to address two key areas that we felt like we needed to focus on. One was to expand the home delivered meals program so that people have access to meals in the pandemic. Secondly, was to address the health disparities in the community. Um, we are in a community full of East Africans and majority of them do not have access to healthy and nutritional meals. And that contributes a lot to the health disparities in the community. And that's really one of our missions to, to really bring it up front and to say, what do we need to do to make sure that the community is healthy overall in nutrition and educational um, material as well so that they understand that the way they eat and what they bring to their tables contributes to their overall health. We Nourish was created with the purpose of delivering food that focuses on people's overall health, dietary preference, and well-being. Our goal is to reduce hunger, food insecurities while addressing health disparities. We believe that nutritional access is an integral part of the community health. People of color are most severely impacted by hunger, poor food access, diet-related illness, and other problems related with food system. The dominant food system, its cheap, empty calories and ambiguous fast food joints leaves many Americans undernourished and unhealthy and the burnt of those results are borne by low-income communities of color. Nationally, the rate of food insecurity for African-American households is more than double that of a white household, while one in five Latinos are food insecure compared to one in 10 whites and one in eight Americans overall. Minneapolis is home to diverse immigrant population and reflects all of these food insecurities to varying degrees. In the wake of COVID-19, there are not only an increase in need, but also an increased risk to the very population that are underserved to begin with. Those who have decreased nutrient complex diets more likely to suffer from health challenges and more susceptible to coronavirus and other risk factors.